Hello you beautiful tea mines. Welcome again. It's good to see you here. I'm Tia Solsen for the Tea Crane and as you know I love being outside. I love the outdoors. I love camping. I love going for a hike and most of all I just enjoy having some nice tea in the outdoors. It's again something completely different but you know with most tea wear an issue is that it might break on the way. If you're going out camping, if you're going out hiking, you're carrying a, uh, a sturdy bag, but still some of your ceramic utensils might get damaged, break on the way, and that's really not what you want to have happen with your nice um, teaware. It's not that I think that you shouldn't have any nice tea utensils outdoors, but it's the setting and the way you organize the thing is just different from when you go for a hiking trip and have some tea along the way or if you say we're going to have a very nice tea occasion outdoors and we're going to prepare everything accordingly and try to have as least damage going on as possible. That basically means that if I intend to do a tea ceremony outside I carry all the nice utensils and I put them in a bag and I make sure that they're wrapped and I carry them, carry them separately and with a lot of care and attention so that I can have those nice utensils outside. But when I'm camping, when I'm hiking, when I'm doing other things outside and having tea is just one of the nice additions to that trip, then I just want to be able to put some nice teaware in my bag, carry it and not have to worry about it breaking on the way. So. In that search for indestructible teaware, I came across this amazing set by Keith Titanium. I will put the link in the description where I found it and where you can find out more details about the set. But I mean, this set is amazing. It has it all. It has a little kettle that fits into this basin. It's basically made for Chinese tea, but it works just as well with, with Japanese tea. I think actually that these Gaiwan are tremendously versatile and if you work them well they would just fit um, Senta as well um, if you use them nicely you can brew um, smaller leaf tea with it as well and it also has this strainer that goes with this uh, this little pitcher so that means that if you carry along this set you can just have any tea anywhere you like and uh, that's what I love about it. I've actually come across some other amazing um, indestructible teaware that I also want to um, to introduce to you and two <coughs> of these indestructible items I have here with me and I will also be carrying at the tea crane of which I'll also put the uh, link in the description so you can purchase them if you like if you want to uh, own one of those pieces to have a teapot that you can throw around a teapot that you can let your kids play with and not have to worry about them burning their fingers or dropping it on the floor and breaking it and a teapot that you can carry along on your hiking trips these two teapots are the new additions to the tea crane and these are what I call the Japanese version of the uh, indestructible teapots what is amazing about them is that they are made with Triton plastic material and Triton is a material that is used for baby bottles. The bottles from which babies drink their milk are designed in a way that when the milk is hot and the baby is holding the bottle, the baby does not burn its fingers. Yet a baby is also not as very um, careful with the items that it uses so if it flings the bottle tr across the room the bottle will just bounce off the wall drop on the floor nothing happens to it um, so it's designed to be indestructible these teapots too they can take a beating and because you're using hot water in them these will not scorch your fingers you can just hold the tea the hold the teapot and it's not going to get warm you can you can drop it and it's still whole. So these two types are what I found to be the most amazing and also very affordable um, teaware to carry on a hike, take camping or just use it at home without 
having to think about them being destroyed. You can even wash them with regular detergent, it's not gonna affect them. And you can, you can wash them in the dishwasher machine. So just don't micro microwave them, that's, that's one thing that um, you would not want to do. But let me show you. I've got some hot water here. <coughs> my teapot and the teapot is on my hand the teapot is sitting on my hand and what a regular teapot would do is it would scorch my hand so a regular teapot would immediately transmit the heat it would burn my hand but this one nothing happens it gets a little bit warm, but it's definitely not going to scorch my hand. Same for, goes for this one, which is even thicker walled. And I barely can feel any heat. So this teapot transmits a little bit it's a uh, thinner walled and this one I mean it does nothing so what is it that we have here this is the air Kyusu the Kuki Kyusu it's very light it's very compact you just flip the lid over and you can put it anywhere it's a Japanese kyusu styled um, with a side handle and you've got the, uh, the strainer inside. So that just makes it very easy to clean, um, very easy to carry and you just throw it in your bag and it's good to go. You can have some tea anywhere. Yep. See what I just did there? <laughs> Very important to remember with the other one. This one is the Chasta. This one's, a, I think, a really, really amazing ergonomical um, and very functional cue. So, very great design. It's compact, it doesn't have the side handle, so it makes it even easier to just throw in your bag and um, take with you everywhere. But what it does have, and that you need to be a little bit aware of is the filter is this little triangle it's detachable because it makes cleaning easier and you can also flip it around for example if you have a um, smaller leaf you can choose for the smaller hole side if you have larger leaf you can choose for the uh, larger hole side and you can twist it around um, but basically it's easier to clean and it just goes in here loosely and it fits in place with the lid so um, brewing your tea with this one is very very easy but if you throw out your leaf or your water just be aware that you'll throw your filter out with it and you have to retrieve it or you best to remind yourself to always take it out before you clean your cues and keep this aside as a separate item because these are sold separately, but we don't carry them at the moment and we'll have to inquire for getting them. Um, so in case you do lose it um, and you own one of these, then it might take a little bit of time to get a replacement for this. So just be careful about this, um, about this filter, but otherwise this is a great teapot. And of course, comparing the materials as opposed to titanium and why why I like this titanium one is because it's double walled also this one pouring water in it it's not going to scorch your fingers because it's double walled and double walled titanium is just a little bit more pricey than these Triton um, plastic ones and so for your everyday and very um, regular use these are great and 
if it's just a short hiking trip, I just like to throw one of these in my bag. Um, pick a tea that I like, bring some hot water or something to boil the water, and we're good to go. So, very easy to brew tea in these, and I'll, um, I'll give you a demonstration of it as well, just to see how easy and how pretty it is brewing with one of these teapots. So when I take some time out to have tea in the outdoors, I don't pack my best teaware. I have looked for some indestructible items that I can be a little bit more careless with, can drop in a backpack and don't have to worry about them banging into something else that is next to it and possibly breaking on the way as I make my way up to the top to only find out when I reach the top that I can't have my tea because my teapot is broken. What a nightmare. No, I looked for teapots that I can be sure of they'll make it to the top and I can have my tea when I reach it. So these are two Triton plastic teapots made from um, the material that is used for baby bottles, indestructible and heat resistant. It also doesn't transmit heat and you won't scorch your fingers on them. And they are very, very price affordable. We'll be carrying these at the tea crane and I'll drop the link in the description below so you can find out more about these two amazing teapots. I'll also let you know where I got this titanium double walled Gaiwan set. Um, we're not carrying it at the tea crane at the moment. It's also a little bit more pricey so I'd rather just refer you to the, uh, the maker in case you are interested in acquiring one of these. And if you have any indestructible teaware that you like to use and you bring on your camping trips or hiking trips, let me know um, and let us all know what uh, you like to use, where you found it and what its, uh, what its benefits are. So I'll be looking forward to reading your comments. If you enjoyed this content, like the video, subscribe to the channel and also click the bell so you get updated on new notifications in the future. And as always, Enjoy your tea, go out in the outdoors, make yourself a cup of tea and create your silence.